Welcome. In today's video we will introduce the types of instruments and sensors used in RO plant and how they help monitor and control the process. RO stands for reverse osmosis, which is a process that uses a semi-permeable membrane to remove dissolved salts, impurities, and contaminants from water. RO plant is widely used in various industries, such as pharmaceutical, food and beverage, power generation, and desalination, to produce high-quality water at meet specific standards and requirements. However, operating an RO plant is not an easy task. It requires careful monitoring and control of various parameters, such as pressure, flow, level, pH, conductivity, turbidity, temperature, total organic carbon, particle count, total dissolved solids, and chlorine. These parameters affect the performance, efficiency, and lifespan of the RO membrane and the overall system. That's why it is essential to use appropriate instruments and sensors to measure and regulate these parameters. In this video, we will introduce the key instruments and sensors used in RO plant and explain how they work and why they are important. Why are sensors and instruments needed? Sensors and instruments are needed to measure, monitor, and control various parameters of the RO process, such as pressure, flow, level, pH, conductivity, turbidity, temperature, total organic carbon, TOC, particle count, total dissolved solids, TDS, and chlorine dioxide. These parameters affect the performance, quality, and reliability of the RO system and therefore need to be maintained within certain ranges or limits. Sensors and instruments help to detect any changes or deviations in these parameters and provide feedback or signals to adjust or correct them accordingly. Types of sensors and instruments. There are many types of sensors and instruments that are used in RO plants, but we will focus on some of the most common ones in this video. 1. Pressure sensors. Pressure sensors are devices that measure the force per unit area exerted by a fluid on a surface. They are used to measure the feed pressure, permeate pressure, concentrate pressure, differential pressure, and net driving pressure of the RO system. Pressure sensors help to optimize the RO process by ensuring that the applied pressure is sufficient to overcome the osmotic pressure and produce permeate water at a desired recovery rate. They also help to prevent damage to the membrane by avoiding excessive pressure or pressure spikes. 2. Flow sensors. Flow sensors are devices that measure the rate or volume of fluid passing through a pipe or channel. They are used to measure the feed flow, permeate flow, concentrate flow, recycle flow, and bypass flow of the RO system. Flow sensors help to optimize the RO process by ensuring that the flow rates are balanced and consistent throughout the system. They also help to prevent fouling or scaling of the membrane by maintaining adequate cross-flow velocity and turbulence. 3. Level sensors. Level sensors are devices that measure the height or depth of a fluid in a container or tank. They are used to measure the level of feed water, permeate water, concentrate water, chemical solution, or product water in various tanks or vessels in the RO plant. Level sensors help to optimize the RO process by ensuring that there is enough water supply and storage capacity for the system. They also help to prevent overflow or underflow of water or chemicals that could cause damage or contamination. 4. pH sensors. pH sensors are devices that measure the acidity or alkalinity of a solution on a scale from 0 to 14. A pH value of 7 is neutral, while a pH value below 7 is acidic and a pH value above 7 is alkaline. pH sensors are used to measure the pH of feed water, permeate water, concentrate water, chemical solution, or product water in various points of the RO plant. pH sensors help to optimize the RO process by ensuring that the pH is within a suitable range for the membrane material and operation. They also help to prevent corrosion or degradation of the membrane or equipment by avoiding extreme pH values. 5. Urbidity Meter A turbidity meter measures how cloudy or clear a solution is by shining a light through it and detecting how much light is scattered by the particles in it. It is used to check the quality and clarity of the water before and after the RO process. 
It also helps to prevent the membrane from getting clogged or blocked by too much dirt or debris. 6. Conductivity Meter A conductivity meter measures how well a solution can conduct electricity by applying a small current between two electrodes and measuring the voltage drop across them. It is used to check the quality and purity of the water before and after the RO process. It also helps to monitor the performance and integrity of the membrane by showing how much salt is removed or leaked. 7. Total Dissolved Solids TDS meters. TDS meters or TDS sensors measure the total concentration of dissolved solids in the water. They help monitor the effectiveness of the RO system in removing salts and other impurities and provide an indication of the product water quality. 8. Chlorine Analyzers Chlorine analyzers or residual chlorine sensors are used to monitor the chlorine levels in the feed water and permeate streams. They help ensure that the chlorine dosage for disinfection is sufficient and that residual chlorine is effectively removed before the product water is discharged. 9. Temperature Sensor A temperature sensor measures how hot or cold a fluid or object is by changing its electrical properties in response to temperature changes. It is used to check the temperature of the water before and after the RO process. It also helps to monitor the performance and efficiency of the membrane by showing how temperature affects the water flow and viscosity. 10. Vibration Sensor A vibration sensor measures how fast and how much a mechanical device shakes or moves by converting mechanical vibrations into electrical signals. It is used to check the vibration of the high-pressure pump in the RO plant. It also helps to prevent damage or failure of the pump by showing the condition and wear of its parts. It is essential to use appropriate instruments and sensors that suit the specific application and conditions of each RO plant. It is also important to calibrate them regularly and to follow the manufacturer's instructions for installation and maintenance. We hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any comments or questions about this topic or any suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on water treatment technologies. Thank you for watching.